Okay, this is a th three cylinder compressor with a 10 horse motor on it, and uh, it's running on a PC11. It's on 240 volt supply in a back workshop, a yard workshop. It's a fairly decent compressor. What we've done is we've pitted a um, head pressure relief valve, the solenoid here, to relieve head pressure on starter. And uh, what we'll do is we'll just simulate it. We've actually pumped this up now to 150 psi. Um, this wouldn't start because of the amount of head pressure on there. Um, we just didn't have enough energy available off the mains because really the only head pressure relief is what's stored inside the pipe between there and the valve, the non-return valve going into the tank, which is like one stroke of the, of the pistons and that's full. So what we want to do is we want to bypass the head pressure during startup and what we're doing is we're leaving the head pressure and pushing it out through the valve. And we do that for the first uh, about eight seconds or so. On here, this is the starter box with the contactor that runs the compressor and this is the little timing unit we made up and it runs directly on 415 volts. So we have 415 which is coming straight off the contactors internally and there's a timer in there that comes off there and runs straight back to the solenoid which is here. So what we're going to do is just, you'll, it'll get noisy so you won't, I won't be able to hear, you just have to watch what happens. Um, I'm going to open the valve here let some of the head pressure out, we'll watch the, the pressure in the tank relief and you'll actually hear the bell doing its thing. Okay, and that, that at the end was the, uh, the valve opening up and relieving the head pressure again. So once again, when it drops back down again, we're opening, it's pumping for that first eight or so seconds up to atmosphere. So we'll just do it once more and you'll hear it start once again. <laughs> 